record everyone um, welcome to session 16 uh, last session uh, was a traumatic session we decided to uh, we, we decided to head back to New Tagrel. Uh, according to Ocean, there was a disease. Uh, we So Arzor and Ocean arrived at uh, his mansion, or his manor. Uh, you entered, you and you found your sister to be sick. Um, Robert and Bear managed to spot people outside the window. They struck down, got some info out of them, and found a piece of uh, note paper uh, with a certain teleportation spell according to uh, Robert. Uh, upon reading it, it transported you into this strange dungeon um, where Geno Sphinx held a puzzle, um, managed to beat that puzzle, and collect the item um, that whatever quote was after it uh, now uh, got it. Um, you, you returned it as for trade uh, for an antidote. Uh, for our sister's uh, health, and when you traded, he uh, destroyed the vial uh, and then teleported away with the item that also just happens to be um, the next piece of the vase, right? It, it contains the next uh, symbol. Uh, so you no longer have that. Uh, Ocean, in a last mist of hope, uh, crushed his final a bead of his prayer beads and suddenly a dark being came inside took the body uh, and a short while after the the real planar ally came in um wait so some random random dude has ocean sister Arzor's sister I guess so Arzor's sister yo it's me I mean Arzor's but, yo, it's me, guys, the planter bean. Uh, I'm gonna take this, and then, yo, guys, uh, it's me, planter bean. You were just here. Wait, who did we give our child to? Yeah. Yeah. That's bad. You know that's bad, right? That's pretty bad. No, so that's, that's, yeah. We ended off, yeah. while, while the party was doing this, Cal was investigating the book, trying to find someone um, with maybe a spell or some sort of effect that can actually read it. Uh, you did find someone who can comprehend languages. Um, nice. And I sent you what it was in the chat. So now are you heading back to the manor? Yes. All right. So um, within time, you managed to uh, on foot, get back to the manor, uh, kind of holding the book under your arm, uh, like intending to visit the party, seeing what they're up to. Uh, you enter the manor, uh, the door is wide open. Pieces of the soil has been moved, like fresh soil has been put on top of the old soil for, for some reason. Um, you've only really seen this during like some sort of earthquake. Um, you climb up the stairs to where you hear what seems to be sobbing and you enter into the room with a book under your arm and you just see ours are kind of crying this strange figure of celestial power just over the bed and you notice uh ocean kind of speaking to uh to her and varam just kind of standing there varam and robert hmm. varam is leaning against wall going like fuck I... Uh... what happened here I, I Some failed. random guy. Now, I if we failed. don't know at all. She didn't, I failed. She didn't make it. I'm so sorry. I, I. No, no, no. Hold up. Wait. Something worse has happened. Some random being took. So, just a random being came in and took her? Yeah, that was pretty random. And you didn't try to stop it. I gotta head on out. I'll be back soon. Alright, uh, Ocean is telling me in the chat what he wants to do, but um, in this case, he turns to you. He was disguised in a 
uh, in these vines, uh, almost mocking the uh, god I asked to send a ally. Uh, we originally thought it was one of her servants, but uh, he tricked us all and took the body. Soon after this, this the real, the real ally came in. Uh, and he points to this hovering mass of the above the bed. So uh, mm. he's going to, uh, if they could explain what, what's happening. So, okay. The planner ally kind of looks around. It's a, uh, let me pull this up if I'm correct. Um, uh, yeah, so Shanti uh, has sent a planner ally for Ocean once he crushed the beads. Uh, when she arrived into the room, uh, he asked her what's going on. Uh, she kind of looks around. Um, and speaks. It unfortunately seems as if he... Evil is spreading from one mortal. If, if he's able to do such things as comprehend the message being sent all the way to the, the pillar of Shanti, it seems... We have more trouble on our hands than it originally seemed. The Thander has been stabbed with some sort of device uh, meant to kill such beings of gods. And it worries me that a person, a mortal, could have such a weapon. Um, the Shanti will be noted of this but the my ability to protect anyone from this is far beyond what i can possibly do especially with someone with such power um uh she looks over well, still in yeah go ahead then how do we stop it? I mean, the if, only, you know, this... The only way I can see stopping this, if Lathander's already dying, is to stop whoever this is. And, unfortunately, I, not even I, can do that. Meaning, someone has to get to his level of power someone good hearted and this uh, this problem is beyond just the god's problems it's everyone's problem now the whole Fretherin is falling to shambles if this person is able to control such uh, such political <laughs> Looks so how would we go about obtaining that sort of power? A prophecy will come uh, eventually to you. Uh, knowledge of power comes with experience, of course. The longer you are able to train, the longer you're able to increase your power the more chance we have of saving this entire realm of course people have tried uh, recently and already have uh, have been killed by whatever this being is 
for now, I would say stand back as you wouldn't want to be killed either. This is a problem maybe only the gods can solve. Maybe some of the worshippers, some of the servants. For now, stand back as we take care of this issue. Try not to get fooled again. I see what's happened here and I don't wish it upon anyone. Um, I'm just going to make sure with Ocean uh, if there's anything else. So, um, I was already just kind of sobbing in the corner. Uh, Kel, you just kind of entered the room. Mm -hmm. Um. Kel? What? What do you want? We're going to find out what Ocean what? wants in a second. He's typing. Um, let me just check out the... Uh, uh, there we go. So as you, as you all uh, just kind of stand there, ocean typed I. Um, <laughs> are you guys on the uh, astral right now? Yeah. Alright, cool. At least I am. He supposes not. She kind of bids you a farewell. Kind of looks at all of you. Good luck. She slowly fades into and out of existence. And eventually disappears <clears throat> into the sunlight. So we're left with a problem now. At least one of us has to become essentially as powerful as a god, which isn't going to be easy. Then we got to find this dude. And beat him up. Sounds like a plan. Mm -hmm. I am going to puke blood. So suddenly, Arzor just like <laughs> all over the floor. It's just blood coming from her mouth. Uh, Ocean's gonna go over. Uh, are you wounded, Arzor? That was a joke, but okay, yeah, I guess that's happening now. There's no joking. <laughs> um, all right, so he was just gonna kind of pat your back because you spit out blood. Like, what the hell? Like, I'm finally trusting you guys, and like, now this is happening. This fucking whatever the fuck is happening is happening. It's all right. <laughs> Did 
stupid for trusting you? Trusting you. Don't know. Um. This is, this is a lot. So Otis uh, enters the room. He kind of looks around. What happened? Where is the girl? I just kind of look over and... <laughs> well, I, yeah, e you, I, I couldn't do it. I, she didn't make it through this, and it's, I, I couldn't do anything to stop it. He kind of, he kind of frowns. Um. If it makes you feel any better, I uh, watched my wife as a orc plunged a great axe into her back. I couldn't save her either. I makes us very similar. I guess you know how I feel then. <laughs> but sometimes you just gotta fight it off, live on, continue their legacy. I mean, it's happened before. It's just <laughs> every single time, it still hurts just as much. Should I wake up uh, the boy? Let him rest. He'll find out. All right. Uh, do any of you want anything to eat? Mm. I couldn't. I'll hold off. All right. I'll be downstairs then. All right, so what do you guys want to do from here? Well, I guess I'll show them uh, the book. All sort right. of see if anybody can cast the spells, because, yeah. All right, so um, you bring the book around, kind of bring it hey. to each person. Yeah, Arza, what? Hey, Gil, is that the book from the house? Yeah. I got it deciphered finally. Oh, what? What does it say? Well, it's kind of gross. Uh, it's got a bunch of weird images. Uh, you might want not want to look at those. And then it's got some spells in it. Apparently, I can't use them, but um, maybe one of you can. Right. You gotta bring it to each person, uh, all the magic users anyways. Uh, none of them can actually use Arcanic books uh, to their spells, <laughs> but Arzor, on the other hand, you can do that uh, in a way. Uh, you'll need, obviously you'll need to take out a spell and then replace it, but you can do it. Huh? 
you the arcane tricksters are wizards uh with rope so you are able to uh learn a spell from here every time you level up uh, but you'll have to replace a previous spell so i think you used absorb elements last time so you can replace that with the spell that's in here if you want anyways hey. um, but other than that um, interesting no one in here can actually use this to their benefit but it's strange to you that uh that there's a that there's a spell book in an oni's lair yeah. yeah, especially since I don't think he wasn't a wizard, was he? No. And combining that with a flesh golem. Strange. So, anything you guys want to do? Oh, you guys are just kind of sitting in this room, morning. Uh, yeah, the sun pretty much. is still slowly rising. Um, I guess I'll go out and uh, check on the um, the wagon, the horses. All right, all so you head outside, um, kind of staring about. Uh, you find the wagon kind of parked outside, uh, right where the door is, because they the party kind of jumped out the wagon and kind of ran into the mm -hmm. house. Um, you kind of look at it. Uh, the horses are fine. Uh, they're kind of tired, though, since they've been up all night. But yeah. I'm yeah. just like staring at the wall. Giving the wall some dirty looks. Yes. All right. All right, Kel. As so yeah. You... Um. Yeah, go ahead. Go for it. I guess I'd like feed them or something if they're hungry. Like, right. uh, there is some grain uh, that you take and you just kind of mm -hmm. feed them. You put them, in, you put it in front of them. Uh, they kind of chew down on it as uh, as they're kind of hungry and tired and everything. All right. Arzor, anything you want to do? After you, you're done with the room. I'm still staring at the wall. And then after that, what do you do? Stare at the wall more. All right. Kel, as uh, as you feed the horses, the sun slowly makes it above the tree line, kind of brightening everything up. Um, And Varum's back. Varum. Uh. Hello. Uh, so, is there what did anything you, you want to do, Varum? That's one. Kel fed okay, the I'm horses. Okay, I'm back. Uh, yeah, so Kel fed the horses. Kel fed the horses. He did that. Um, I did that. He came inside and, you know, everything happened. The, uh, the, the uh, planar ally left. Varum, what do you want to do? Arthur's dead mm. as well. Mm. Real quick, real quick. Can I have, like, a memory of uh, what the other guy looked like? The guy who took Arza's uh, dead sister? Oh, um, I think Ocean was the only person who really saw his face. Um, but uh, you, you saw you saw his cloak. Yeah, he had his a black cloak with some vines strung around his uh, neck. Do I recognize the language of the vines? Wait, no. There, vines there, don't have a language. to be vines. Um, jungle, any like any sort of particular, box. it may be 
maybe a jungle uh, Naglor, maybe from Naglor. Last time, I don't know when the last time you've seen a vine is, but this is bad. Um, Ozra, how are you feeling currently? Staring at the wall. It's that bad. That's bad. Ozra, do you want to go save your family? All one of them. Mm. Arzor, you hear floor creak at the uh, at the door to the room. You turn around uh, from looking at the wall and you see uh, kind of short matrix uh, kind of uh, in his pajamas, kind of rubbing his eyes as he looks into this room. Huh? Where is... Where is she? Well, I puke blood again. Oh, uh, Arzor, are you okay? She's gone. You just see a tear drop from his eye. Oh, where, where did she go? I look over to the bed. It's empty. The bed is empty, indeed. But, but, why? Why did this have to happen? It wasn't supposed to happen. He starts crying. Um, all right. Hug him, and I'm just like, I'm, I'm sorry, dude, it's just, I am... I was stupid and weak, and I couldn't do anything. He's just sobbing in your arms. I... I... The, the wind kind of slowly blows through the window. Verum, uh, what do you do? Huh? The wind kind of slowly blows through the window. Verum, is there anything you'd like to do? Oh, wind. Real quick, is the other planar entity there? Oh, no, she left after Ocean kind of informed her of everything uh, that's been happening. Uh, she re She's returning to uh, Shanti, kind of speaking to her. Sure. That's bad. Well, Baron is just gonna just uh, lay his back on a wall, feet uh, forward, and just gonna be like, wow. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anything you guys want to do now? Um, you've been crying for about like three hours uh, around the bed. Kel kind of had time to get the horses fed and everything. I don't know. I'm probably tired out from crying now. Okay. Oh, uh, what, what, what do you want to do then? Lay on the floor. All right, Varum? Varum's just going to pick up both Arzur and uh, Arzur's brother. Was it brother? Was it sister? All right. Brother. Uh, brother, I'm going to take both of them. Uh, we're going to the cart. I'm just placing them there. Place a blanket over them. Okay. Mm. Kel's kind of there, uh, like petting the horses. 
I don't deserve you, Verum. I am the best I know. He... Hey, Cal? Okay. Yeah. Things got fucked. You know how Arja lost her mom? Yeah. Fate strikes again with her sister. Yeah. Bad set of luck. Bad set of luck indeed. Probably get going. This place uh, will only bring bad memories as long as she's here. So, Bram is going to get up on the uh, saddle area, as is on the front of the cart. So, Kel, get on in, yeah. rally up the others. Uh, I believe everyone needs a night's sleep right now. All right. So, we can get ocean in here. Mm-hmm. Um... Where are you guys going? With the cart. You guys wanna head back to town? Prepare? We're going we're going straight to hell. That was a joke. We are not actually going straight to hell. Okay. So As I go to hell. Uh, as you get into the cart, Verum, where do you want to drive it to? The only place we really need to be uh, is town, and then we'll go from there. We'll go to a boat, sail to Dornak, get Dorna, all, all right. that stuff. So you're so you drive the uh, carts, maybe a couple minutes back to the town, and uh, it is. Still very busy, uh, especially from last time. It is still very busy. Also, Kel, you did get a statue, by the way. Um, oh, which statue? So the party had its own statue because Robert instructed the goblins to build it, um, which was like a big statue. You got your own statue, uh, life-sized, uh, but it's you. It's next to Crowbar's little manor. It's in a... Uh, it's in a... It's in a uh, Cynthia Plaza somewhere nearby the manor. And uh, on there is the, the statue view with your battle axe kind of dug into the ground, kind of staring upwards, and th there are pieces of rubble from the orc fortress there. <laughs> so, there you go. Nice. Uh, you kind of ride into town. Arzor and uh, her brother kind of hugging Everyone's kind of in the back. As uh, as you guys are kind of traveling, Verum, anything you want to grab? Kel, Arzor. Yeah, we're just. I'm grabbing all of them. We're going. We're gonna fuck on out of here. Oh uh, no! Is there mm -hmm. any like, uh, uh, items you need? Shopping. I was oh. thinking about getting a separate water skin so I could have one to store water and one to store blood. Why are you storing blood? <laughs> yeah, why? Why the Reasons. blood? Reasons. Why? Okay. No. no, you are not storing blood. <laughs> Need to not store blood. That's bad. So, do they sell those? You want to? You want to buy a water skin? All right. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna pop off the cart. Uh, I'm going to grab some uh, water skins. Let me grab that. Uh, so, a typical water skin will probably cost like uh, five silver pieces. Uh, you're heading to a general store. Uh, you can enter. There is it like a woman there, she's selling uh, general supplies, uh, such as water skin, five silver pieces again, so. Five silver pieces? Yep. All right, cool. Here you go. She takes it, she gives you the, uh, she gives you the water skin. All right. 
Right. I now have a water skin for a secondary purpose. Storing water. <laughs> yeah, <storing> water. <laughs> Get it? The joke is that my first water skin is full of blood. Oh, that's why. Okay. Hydro blood. All right. Kel. I see. <laughs> okay. So, Kel. You hear a sound. Um, kind of like calling out to specifically you. It's like, Kel, Kel. Okay, I'm gonna look for the sound, I guess. All right, you, you turn around, you kind of look around, and you see uh, this short human, like with a hat, and like three other people kind of following him. Uh, hello. They, they kind of catch up to the cart and kind of panting. Do you stop the cart? Uh, sure. All right. Uh, they kind of, they kind of look at you. Is, 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 are, are you Kel? That would be me. They, 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 they uh, they're, they're, they all look at each other. Uh, we've been looking for so long. Uh, yeah, we, we've heard the rumors of uh, the statue being built here so we came here looking for you and we found you um, huh? what was that well I'm here now oh you know these people no, no idea um, yeah me neither he go he put he he opens a bag, uh, similar to Ocean and Robert's bag. Uh, he puts stuffs his hand in there and goes all the way in, and he pulls out a tiny building. What's that? And you immediately recognize it as your old tavern. Oh. The whole thing. Nice. It's my boy. He's he, back. He looks at you. Well, um, ever since Amber, uh, I, uh, ever since Adam died, uh, the tavern was kind of running slow. Uh, no people came in or out. Uh, so we decided, uh, maybe we could run it. Um, one day, uh, one day we met a, another wizard who agreed to uh, who agreed uh, for a payment of the entire uh, you know gold stock of the inn. Uh, he agreed to shrink the inn for us, give it a magical purpose, and ever since then we've been like looking around. Any information we can get on you. Trying to find you, bring your your in back because we want to serve you right. Well, it's uh, very kind of you. I say, go for it. I have no use for a tavern anymore. I I don't think you understand. We want to help you in a way. Uh, he take he pulls out the tavern. And then tosses it onto the ground in the in an alleyway, and suddenly <laughs> it grows into a full inn. Or sorry, a full tavern. <laughs> right in the middle of the alleyway. The door stands there. Um Me and my friends have been setting up this inn uh in random places, kind of collecting uh, gold, able to run it. Um uh, they kind of entered, you follow? Sure. All right, you enter. It's the same as it's always been, really. Mm -hmm. And we were wondering if maybe we could help you in some way. We've heard uh, numerous things about how uh, you you saved people. We've, we've also heard stories that you were a monster, but. You seem heroic to us, so... 
we were wondering if we could help you in a way. And he uh, he exits the tavern, uh, kind of ushers you to get out as well. Mm-hmm. Follow. And then he shrinks it again, uh, using the command word. <laughs> shrinks again. And hands it to you. Uh, kind of, he, Actually, he leaves his friends inside as he shrinks it and he gives it to you. We are willing to help you in a way. Um, for a, for a price, uh, you see, and he takes a gold piece out of his pocket and just kind of tosses it into the tiny door of the inn. Uh, one of the uh, people kind of come out. He calls it. He calls out a name into the tavern door, and suddenly a person kind of peeps out from the uh, tiny door, kind of looks around. Well, you see, I think we can. Give you some advantages, I should say. If you're willing to take us up on this offer. Okay. And what would you get in return? Well, um, every time... Uh, well, we also get uh, the ability to sightsee, correct? Uh, but also you get to... Uh, we get gold in return for our services. Every time you throw a gold coin in there, we'll show up, help you out. I think it's a pretty good deal. Does seem like an offer I would accept. So how about he puts his hand out like in a handshake? All right, I'm gonna shake his hand. Oh, thank you. We've been looking for you for so long. I can't believe this time has actually come. All right. Uh, let me quickly get prepared, and he kind of shuffles through his things. Like he puts his head inside the bag of holding. Kind of, uh, you hear like clanging of metal and stuff. Mm -hmm. You're just kind of smiling and you're looking at your old tavern, like you're pretty happy, right? Mm -hmm. and yeah. You see this black figure rush towards you, and suddenly, uh, and let me work for this. It does hit you. That's a seventeen. Um. Mm. It, okay. it runs towards you and takes, you hear like a knife uh, take, being taken out of its sheath and stab you mm -hmm. like for a single point of damage. Like it's, it's, oh, uh, run! it's a very lousy attack against you. Like mm -hmm. right into your thigh. This person's pretty short, but it goes right into your thigh for exactly just one point of damage. Doesn't barely does anything to you. As as I live. Hello. As he puts the dagger into your thigh, he kind of is like, "What? How's this guy not dead?" And he looks up at you, and you see um, Xavier look up at you. And he's like, "Oh!" And he's like holding the dagger into your thigh and just kind of looking up, like scared. How the heck is this guy still alive? Uh. Kel's just gonna like pull the knife out and just toss it to the side, and uh, <laughs> just gonna be like, you know, why are you here? The wizard kind of looks over. Have you been following us this entire time? He he uh he looks at Kel. Um, well, well, he 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 killed my parents. Accidentally. How do you kill someone accidentally? <laughs> Hold was... on, question. Is he alone right now? What? Am I there? Like, I... Is, like, is like no, this kind of, is this kind of Oh, we're all together? Yeah. I mean, part, but yeah. Ocean is I mean... killing baby and whining about her family being dead. <laughs> Ocean, I mean, ours are... Sorry about that, Ocean. I mean,. Accidentally killing someone isn't too difficult. I mean, animals do it all the time. They want to scare people, and then they kind of go too hard on them, and then, like... Or you accidentally throw a fast, and that hits everyone instead of one person. That's a thing that happens a lot. But, I mean, 
mortality yeah. from animals. Is I'm not going to act like it's an easy thing to do, but it's not like impossible. You know, it's not impossible. especially if you're in a blood raid. This man went to my parents' farm, snuck into their property, and slayed them mercilessly. You call that an accident? I wouldn't know. Uh, yes. Do you know the situation? Yeah, I'm confused. Um, Kel, would you time. mind explaining the situation and how that was an accident? You, you see, you didn't really do that, did you? Uh, it was an accident. Um, that may have happened, but uh, I was. It was one of my uh, first time raging out. So you would call it. Uh, yeah, it's it's a bit so fuzzy now, but the um, or influence of something. Ah, uh, yeah, yes. I mean, to be fair, the adrenal spikes that raging happens with the barbarians is fucking insane, and scientifically, they should be dead. From a sheer medicinal standpoint. You shouldn't be alive whenever you rage. The amount of adrenaline in your veins should actually be toxic. It's surprising. So I kind of it kind of makes sense for like the first Help. time. I challenge you to a dagger fight. You want to fight me? Anything to avenge my parents? He kind of he's oh fuck he's dead. <laughs> You know, dying won't avenge them. Kind of looks at, uh, kind of looks over at the, uh, wizard over there. Here's the, uh, here's the deal. All right. If I beat you, I have the right to kill you. Okay. And listening to these fools' plan to come here. If you win, I will serve you in your slave tavern and do whatever you want. Hold on, slave tavern? What? Slave tavern, what? what? Wait, uh. That's what I got from their plan. No. Not a slave tavern. That. You know what? Yeah, you, should tell, you should tell them to fuck off and go away. Look, I don't. Dagger I don't particularly know. No armor? Nice. Just me and you. <laughs> He's actually pretty flimsy. Hold on. <laughs> there was just gonna um, walk him over and grab him by his shoulder and just say, "You are continuing the end of ceaseless violence. This is how wars begin. You are contributing to the numberless dead consumed by hatred. Solution. There." Um, if I had the chance to kill the person who just took my family, I would strangle them with my bare hands. Is that the right thing to do, though? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you're just... Yeah. 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 I'm not gonna stop him. Yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna stop him. I would like, however, real quick, I, for one, don't know if you have major armor or if there's anything that you could have cast it. Look at me in my eyes, real quick. Tell me you didn't cast Mage Armor of any way you don't have it on you. I'm not able to cast spells, so no, I don't have any sort of Mage Armor. He puts it in quotes. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. The word Mage Armor is not a word. Kel? Uh, he says the command word, and suddenly, from the wizard's hands, the tavern jumps up and fits into the alleyway once more. In the tavern... Take off your armor, get a dagger, and we will fight. Walks in. <laughs> okay, um, well, my uh, AC is still 13, even when I take my armor off. Very happy. Not that concerned, which is good. Yeah. All right. And, uh, well, uh, I don't have a dagger on me. Oh, ours are as, like, four... Or you but can I use my carving knife. It's not change my axe. Combat, my axe can turn into any other weapon. 
So I could just change it into a uh, dagger. No. Come closer, I'll give you a dagger. I mean, it does keep the D12 of damage. Yeah, I'll just change my axe into a dagger. So suddenly, Cal sure? whips his axe, and as it's spinning, it, shaped, it shrinks into the dagger that fits within Kel's hand. And you like you're holding it like a normal dagger, and then it suddenly just falls to the ground with weight. So you have to take your other hand and grasp it around the other hand just to uh, hold it right. Mm. So you all see like Kel hold this this dagger with both of his like, huge hands. And like he's like walking around like holding it like that. Are you going to accept the duel? Sure. Alright. You enter into Can the I cavern. The light? Is that not loud? Is what is that? Ocean? Can I watch the fight? Is that not allowed? This just You can come in, yeah. Why not? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna watch the fight then. Kel, you walk into the brightly lit uh, tavern. Uh, there is the uh, there's the desk where, uh, or sorry, the, there's the uh, table where uh, the bartender is. There's multiple tables spread throughout. There is a single chandelier hanging from the very top, just like how you, just like how you originally uh, had it. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a lot of barrels in the back. And the uh, the uh, the rogue just kind of pushes the tables, making like a little circle. And let me put that okay. in here. Where is your token, Kel? Actually, let me place it down. I don't know. I see a black screen on okay. Astro. Oh, we're using Astro. Fighting here. <laughs> Elvis. Oh, Astral, that's kind of spicy. Okay, can you reload? Oh, there we go. Alright, never mind. Yep. Cool. There is my... There it is. Oh yeah, my character sheet is view only. Can't change anything now. What? Are you logged into the right? Yeah, side? I. I never unlogged out, so I don't know. Mm. I guess. So you can't. How did you do that? Like, what does it say? No. I... Like, does it say anything, or is it just you can't edit anything? it says so i can't like change the hp or anything uh no and, your, and make sure your account is still lootly games right is it yep. oh okay uh no nope, not working go to go to collections manage um manage characters Or, yeah, my characters, and then try to get your character from there. If Let's it's see. not there, then it's a different account. All right. All right, that worked. Right, I cool. think so. Yep, there we go. All right. This, uh, so this guy is holding his dagger. And he kind of looks at you as you're like holding your dagger with both hands, kind of like smiling. Yeah, this is going to be easy. Um, all right, let's roll initiative then. Wait a minute, this guy... It's a fucking monk. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. oh fuck. Oh fuck. Uh, Got an 17. eight. What? An eight. Eight. For me. All right. He kind of turns to. I'm betting on the boy. He's going to try to attack. Uh, he takes his dagger. This is like this big sweep towards your face. That is a two. <laughs> Does not hit. All right, he kind of swipes wide, and then uh, you manage to tilt your head back enough. <laughs> your ponytail guy goes flying back as he slices right past you. Mm -hmm. Your turn, Kel. <clears throat> okay. 
Now, I don't want to kill him. Yeah, I was, I was just going to yell, remember. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure you can go for something non-lethal. Oh, yeah, you can do I could damage. just, like, drop the weapon and start punching him. <laughs> you can do non-lethal damage, so you can just kind of knock him out if you want. Okay, yeah. All right, go yeah, ahead. Also, all melee still... is non lethal. Even if it's a dagger, you can just stab him non lethal. You can make the dagger blunt, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you just kind of. So basically, how non lethal damage is, you do the same just... amount of damage, it's just you knock him instead of uh, slicing him. Gotcha. So, go ahead okay. and make the attack well... normally. And. Then, then... A 22. Alright, how much, how, much, how much damage? Nine. Nine. So some... Oh wait, but since I'm level five, I get to make two attacks in one turn. Go ahead. So I'm gonna do that. In a rapid succession, you notice Kel take, uh, take his uh, two hands around his dagger and just like make these huge, um, huge like golf swings towards the, uh, towards the, uh, towards the little rogue. He slices, he hits him once in the face using the back end of the dagger. And you notice he gets a black eye. He's kind of weakened, blood kind of spitting from his mouth. You take the other. Um, and then a 13. And within a millisecond, your hands switch hit. positions from hitting his face to the other side of his face, whacking him. How much? Uh, 13 to hit, 16 to damage. 16 damage, I guess. And you knocked him out, like, with that 16 damage. Okay. <laughs> Two rapid attacks, he's knocked out. Okay. Alright. He's just kind of lying there on the floor. You know, like that? to the, uh, the cart, and they're like, Hey, we have your tavern here. And uh, we want to help you. So I can basically pay them a gold and they'll hop out of the tavern and attack people, I guess. Or something uh, like that. Something, okay. <laughs> Alright, let me give you the description. So I of just the have item. a tavern. <laughs> yeah, so it's a miniature pocket tavern, right? Um, mm -hmm. So how this works. Uh, as a bonus action, uh, three times a day, you can throw a piece of uh, a throw a gold coin in the doors, and when you when you activate it, uh, you can choose one of the people inside to help you. Uh, each one has its own abilities to help you out. Uh, a rogue. So the rogue will now help you with things such as uh, sneak attacks. You get another one d four damage for a minute. Uh, so, an, sorry, an attack you make with advantage, you can do an extra 1d4. So with Reckless, you can do 1d4 each time for an amazing, mm -hmm. Um Or, it, so this is random, but he'll, he might choose to also throw a uh, dagger, a miniature dagger just throwing at it. Uh, the fighter mm -hmm. will give you fighting advice, so your attack rolls increase by one, uh, by one for one minute. Uh, okay. Or it can detect any vulnerabilities with any creature, maybe. Uh, the wizard will cast a firebolt uh, for you. Or uh, he can mirror image you. And the bartender uh, can give you a special brew that can uh, give you advantage on charisma ability checks for an hour. Or uh, give you a meal that gives you an advantage on constitution saving throws. So either a charisma or constitution. Nice. For one minute. That's what, constitution for one minute. There you go. So you get a miniature tavern that can increase in size and it has a little uh, special features as well. And this is once every day, right? Three times every day. All right, you can do it oh, three three times. Times. Up, to, up to three times every day. Okay. Well, that was ended quickly. That's not that good. He's been hunting coke. You guys so want long. some drinks? Man, I used to be the bartender. Hey, uh, tell this kid to fuck off. I'm just pointing at the unconscious child. 
You can know it. We should probably make sure the proud isn't dead. She just walks over, checks her pulse. Okay, yep. Do anything to hurt him, so help me. Do you know me? Anyway. I'm talking to you, Ocean. That's... Uh, Alright. Anyways. Ocean kind of just collapsed twice. Basically, basically fucking rubs his hands together. Goddamn defibrillates the child with <laughs> with your wound. Just <laughs> all right. And he's will back a lot. Not... All right. Yep. All right. So, Cal, you are reunited with your old tavern. Uh, you want to make drinks? Yep. All right. We'll say. Uh, you will have. And let me find the correct tool for this. Uh, uh, but I believe it's blah blah blah. It's mm-hmm. all right. So this counts as. Brewer supplies. So uh, I'll give you, I'll give you proficiency in uh, brewer supplies since you did work at a tavern. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, unless you already have it, I don't know if you do, but um. I don't believe so I do. Supplies check was just d twenty plus uh, d twenty plus two plus yeah plus whatever your proficiency is, which I think is three now. I'm not fully sure right now. Okay. That would be a nine total. Nine. Um, not recalling where everything is, you kind of like peek at the drawers and you just kind of mix whatever you find together. It doesn't taste that good. But it's a drink. <laughs> yeah, something. Is the kid still asleep, just no longer at zero health? Or is he like. No, you heal him so he's back awake. He's just kind of like pouting in the corner now. So. Leave. Go away. No, I wouldn't suggest that. We'll be fine. I mean, if he wants to stay at the tavern, like, you know, it'd probably be safer. It's not like he has a family to go back to. Yes, but he started murdering <laughs> me, and I bet to be fair. To be fair here. You don't... If this is how you're going to treat him... How do you ever want to be forgiven? I, okay. Uh, well, I'm giving him a home, I guess. He can live in the tavern. He can come along with us, you know. Hello, kid. Come with us. Don't murder us in our sleep. Where is that? Technically, you never really asked to be forgiven, per se. He's made his own peace with the situation, at least seemingly. Yeah. Well, you don't just like, need to forgive yourself, much. okay? You have to be forgiven by the people that you have. Arzor? This guy doesn't forgive. He chooses people, stabbing. People do not, people do not people forgive. Are they think of, oh, we hey, feel. that person, I want them dead. We have I no can only experience. We see ourselves as, just as, as right in that circumstance. I'm not going to argue that your way of thinking about this is wrong. It's not true. You have your own perceptions on it. But at the same time, we have killed a lot of people. And sometimes there's people that we would have liked we would have liked to say, but we didn't. Morality is a myth, everything is from perspective. He wasn't in his right mind and things happened. He's made his peace with that and truth be told, he doesn't need to seek forgiveness from anyone, but that's his choice if he wants to. Hmm. And he's what I think. If you disagree, I respect that. But he killed somebody's family. That's true. At the same time, I argue that we killed actually, yeah, no, I think about it. all of us together killed pretty much an entire fortress full of orcs who had been pretty happy until then. They weren't good people, but they were people. We've also killed a number of fucking random wizards that keep trying to attack us. 
scientists, and they don't have any, like, innateness to be, like, good, but we don't know their life. Maybe they have a family back home. But that's not our problem. This, I will admit, was not a situation where he was attacking someone after being provoked. I'm not going to act like that suddenly makes the situation okay. But I also don't believe that he innately needs to justify himself in that. You know? But that's just... Uh. I- All right, so Kel is going to make everyone drinks. It tastes really bad. Oh, uh, she's kind of like pandering to Arzor. Uh, do you want to, what do you guys want to do now? It is getting darker. Bear, Bear drinks it down and says, what an amazing drink. I don't know. Maybe I do deserve <laughs> all of this. Maybe I am a bad person. No, no, don't go so think about that bad, 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 bad. bad. It's going to be repeatedly bad. The important thing that you think about isn't what you've done, it's what you're going to do. It's what you wish to do. And that's the important thing. Not what you've done, but what you're going to do moving forward. You can't change the past. We don't get to decide the future. We get to have what we want in our minds and we get to strive for it. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to come to fruition, but we can try. You're a knock at the, uh... You're a... <laughs> One sec. Alright. You hear a knock at the, uh, tavern's door. Alright, I'll open it. You open it, yeah, there's, like, no. two guards there, kind of looking at you in full armor. Hello? Uh... What is this building? Oh, it's not been clear. Some kind of there. magical building. It's small, but we can make it big enough to stay in. Well, I doubt we're going to keep it here forever. We're probably going to stay the night at either my place or something. It, it ain't going to stay here, I promise. If they kind of look at you, it's not under tax admissions at the state. <laughs> no, this is this is just a standard area that we have it ain't nothing that's like permanent nowhere i think though i wouldn't know i live out in the forest cal you own the place uh uh well no Mm. kind of uh they kind of own the place they just sort of gave it back uh they're so confused right now let me okay hold on i think i got it so it's not connected to any piece of land that can be owned. It's just the same as like, oh, well, I made this cart out of wood, except the cart is a house. I mean, you can still move it wherever you want. And like, you can say, open up. And then the fucking house is there. But it's not like a plot of land. So I don't think it'll take taxes. So look at you. Make persuasion check. Um, sure. Tax. Wait, no, so he also brewed it. me the drink, right? What? Do I get the advantage on persuasion checks from it? No. He... Not innately, but... No, uh, like that's there. specifically from the actual bartender. Um, He'll get the uh, charisma checks. But, that's fair. Yeah. This is just a random drink he made. Uh, it's not the magic one. Uh, that's like a seven. A seven? It's like a seven. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let me. Uh, so they kind of get you. Well, uh, if you'd like to continue having this in, out in the open, you would have to pay us a hefty sum. All right. How oh. much you want? If you go. To be fair, we don't need to. We can just collapse it now. Hey, pal. <laughs> Hey, pal, 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 yep. pal, pal. Yep. 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 Yes. I have a routine D&D session where uh, each uh, Wednesday we do it. Uh, it usually rotates between two parties and the same DM. This mm-hmm. Wednesday is my party. Ooh. And that's in 15 minutes. Wow. All right. You want to leave? Okay. I will leave in 15 minutes when the party starts. I'm not leaving until then. All right. That's Sounds good. 
Yeah. Okay. The so, Vern is gonna be way back. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, guards kind of expect expect a payment here, hmm. unless he has one. All right, we'll just we'll just collapse it. Let's go. Yeah, don't worry. It, it has to said the players ain't staying. This is just a kid here had a vendetta. He wanted to settle. All these people kind of did, and uh, yeah. So he popped open the place. Don't worry, we're closing it down. Okay, so he kind of like exit through the doorway. Arzur and Verum kind of follows suit. <laughs> And then, Kel, you say the uh, the command word, suddenly, in the alley, in the alley, this, the building falls maybe two feet, falling into the uh, gravel. Uh, okay, I'm going to pick it up and uh, put it in my bag. All right. Kind of stuff it in there. The guards kind of look at yeah. you in confusion, uh, uh, but they kind of leave you alone and leave at this point. Yeah. Be honest, okay. I don't... By the way, not Goblin, by the way. Yeah. Not goblin. Hmm. So. That's what I thought. So. Interesting. Hmm. And I guess humans are getting more into power here again, which is fair, I suppose. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Um... Maybe 7 p.m. now. The okay. so actually well, it's getting pretty dark for 7 p.m. Uh, it is leaf winter. Uh, you notice uh, a lot of the trees have lost their branches in this town. Uh, the leaves kind of piling up on the streets uh, in colors of orange, yellow. Uh, even the forest that you were in is now pretty much complete. all their leaves are gone, and now on the forest floor, slowly decomposing. Mm. Uh, the cold breezes also are coming in about now. Mm. Ah. Always love winter. Not winter. Uh, what's the name of the season again? So, it's 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 autumn right now, but um, leaf winter is like, uh, is named after when the leaves fall, right? Okay. Winter. It's leaf winter. It's leaf winter. It's like winter, but with leaves. Leaf winter. Yeah. <laughs> winter, but with leaves. Okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, nice. Ninth of the leaf winter, by the way. So. I guess it's more like winter for the leaves, because they die. Oh. Yeah. Uh, um. Hmm. Usually, well. Yeah. Usually, snow comes <laughs> next month or the month month after that, and then the blizzards come in winter falling. And it slowly fades away, uh, to your knowledge, it was. Every year is different. Well, consider... But, like, did any, like, other shit go down to my house while I haven't been here? What is that? Did, has any other shit gone down in my house while I haven't been here, or...? Uh, no. <laughs> Not really. Like, in, in what sense? You okay. I just mean like, oh, is Otis fucking okay? Jesus Christ, what the fuck has gone on? This is more than I bargained for, or is like oh, Otis anything was kind gone? of comforted uh, Arzor and then kind of went to uh, grab grab some food for the party. In that case, I suggest we just head back to my house, stay the night, pass out for a bit. There's not enough rooms for everyone, but uh, let's see, Otis has his own room. The kid, the goblin kids, the bears, matrix. Yeah. Yeah. Um, probably make some room in the uh, other like miscellaneous rooms, like uh, nature rooms, the oh, magic yeah. rooms. That's kind of empty yeah. right now because there's no. Because last time you visited, uh, all that was in the uh, magic collection room was uh, only the bag of holding. So. Yeah. Um. So. Let's see, it's there's that. Too. We have like a small library, we got like a sparring room, but that's it. But we should be able to sleep on the floor, worst comes to worst, but there's also like couches. But these just places to sit. A lot of woven stuff. I'll admit that we made a lot of our own furniture, so some of it was kind of wonky with, because you're working with furs. Other of it was just like woven chairs, or like woodworked, so 
Hey, you, uh, you, you, not, you, you won't be uncomfortable, just don't expect, like, a full bed, alright? But hey, we all got bed rolls, so it should help. <clears throat> I don't sleep in a bed roll. That's fair. You go ahead and suggest we get going. Hmm, yes. Going is the go that which is the go that which goes and the goes. That's a sentence. Okay. Anyways. As uh, the night slowly comes, you arrive at uh, the house. You bring your horses back. Uh, you bought some of the water skins. You bought whatever you guys needed. So if you want, tell me if you guys buy anything. Um, hmm. Probably just like some glass vials to put the any of the hydro blood we still have into. Basically, right. potion bottles just uh, out of glass. Copper piece for each vial. Glass is pretty cheap here, especially near the ocean. Okay, in that case, fucking. See, we got all the water skins. I was like three water skins, maybe. I think. We bought ours are about one water skin. If you want to buy more, you can. Okay. I was referring. I was referring to the um, amounts of Lunae and Hydra blood, which probably like three oh, water uh, skins. We had, like three water has one, and Arzor has one, and I guess you had one, so. But you used yours. Okay. The child. Yeah. I didn't intend to pour the whole thing in her mouth, but that works too. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Um, you can maybe fill so up four death. vials total with Arzor and Robert's uh, water skins. Okay. Okay, so I'm pour copper. Right. Well, okay. Definitely. So hydro blood in its purest form is just uh, very weak uh, po potions yeah. of uh, healing. Uh, you can refine yeah. it to make uh, actual potions of healing, um, greater potions of healing. But you definitely use uh, hydro blood if you're interested in that. But. Mm -hmm. Mm. Which, fun fact, that's why I chose the Hydra as the uh, specific animal for the unicorn totem. Because he's leaning it. Hey, anyways. Um. Uh, yeah, alright. Fair question. Yeah. Question, quick. Hmm? Yeah. Yes, fair. My brain has stopped working. You'll have to find me later. Alright. So, it slowly gets night. Uh, you enter the rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys want to buy, buy bedrolls, finally, and tents? Yes. We have yeah. bedrolls. They're starting equipment, don't you know? Yeah, we have some. Yeah, I don't know if everyone has because I've asked. Yeah, okay. Who, who has a bedroll and who doesn't? Everyone. Okay. I do. Yeah. I have a bedroll time... and I have... Because last time we were in the wilderness and you guys never had a bed, you told me you guys didn't have bedrolls. So I don't know. If you guys have bedrolls, that's great. We always had bedrolls. Also, yeah, we specifically said that we did. I'm pretty sure. But I might be wrong. I'm going to go check. What is that? <laughs> Same. All right. I think I have a bedroll. Okay. So, the party uh, takes their naps. Uh, Arzor, you kind of still are thinking about your sister, how 24 hours ago she was still alive. And you just kind of go to sleep, kind of sobbing. Yeah. You all wake up in the morning, uh, tired. Uh, managing to do a couple things. Uh, and what do you guys want to do? You have a day ahead of you. Uh, okay. Let's see, getting started. Probably gonna want to talk to Crew Board. It's possible he got. Hmm, I don't know. Something might have happened with him. Hmm. 
Dude, they said that one dude, or people said that one dude with the cape went in, and then Crowvard needed 12 hours, and now there's maybe a bit more human guards. I don't know. It's possible someone tried to out him and his role as mayor, but that's literally me jumping hella to, con- to like, conclusions, so doubt that. But hey. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, we probably might want to go check with him. Um... Now that you have that wizard in the hut, it might be able to explain what any of the spells in the book in the book that you had are, but I'm not mm-hmm. so sure about that. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. Only wizards are able to cast them. Um, yeah. Wizards and bards, yeah. can, but that's a bit more fucky with bards. I'll go check, I guess. Um, I'd say we worry about that a little bit later. Or maybe, you know what? Mm. Considering I doubt that the spells be too important. How about we check it, uh, at night when we leave? Because I have a feeling we'll probably need to get going soon because we still have a job, specifically mm. from the king. And... That's right. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't want him to rain down, uh, the entire forces of a nation upon us. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. um... That's valid. Yeah, that it's it's been in my head that we keep getting not so much distracted, but other things come up that are incredibly urgent and affect us immediately. And a nation is kind of the big thing. This is my forest, all right? This is pretty much like the river up to like Shipstead and like a bit further back, like a good couple of miles. He's like, that's my force. That's my shit. That's like, that's the shit I care about for the most part. Everything else is a bit out of my uh, scope, per se. Mm. But, eh. um, on the bright side, looking on the map, Nido doesn't seem like the furthest trip we've ever made. Um, um, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, how do you want supplies? Um, do the people in the tavern... I, I bet they need to eat, right? Do they? What? Do they, do they need to eat? Yeah, yeah of course they need some to eat. Sort. Okay, they need to eat? Alright. In that case, we should probably get some food for them, too. Um. Oh, in the, okay, so in, in the tavern, they have their own food, so if you want. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. Alright. I thought you said tag them. Really... I was like, yeah, I mean, they kind of need to eat. Oh, it's kind of, it's kind of mortal, bro. Like, come on. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Just become a mortal. It's easy. Uh, Mortality is kind of cringe. I've been meaning, I mean... Just make your family immortal. It's that simple. That's what the fucking villain's doing. Anyway. Uh, um, so, Chrysarin once. Matrix is like I've asked her once Matrix is more um prepared right, so emotionally and kind of set everything to Christian, train him a bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll I'll make sure to train him. Yeah. Uh, I, um, I was training both of them so well uh over the past week. And she starts like a single tear in her eye. She was a good kid. She nods. Mm-hmm. She nods. Um, I'll do my best. I think... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, aside from that, uh, again, if you see any men in those type of robes, and fucking we actually have one of them, so he kind of fishes it out of his back, this shit. Don't trust, and if you can, fucking... If you see it, explain, hey... Them bitches been casting hexes and shit, and I, I wouldn't suggest trusting them. Like, a little bit. I'm, I'm not sure that they, anyone in the town particularly trusts us. Um, she knows. Okay. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll look out for them. You don't... Well, you know what, Cal, uh, pal? I'm gonna ask a quick question. Yes. You said that... She pretty much has closer to a ranger stat block, if anything. Yeah. If she were, she have druidic warrior as the fighting style, quote-unquote. Or would it be just, like, bow? 
I don't know. It's your sister. <laughs> it's up to you, my guy. All right. In that case, we're going with Druidic Warrior. She has Druid Craft and Predict Weather pretty decently. Um, there's one more cantrip. Probably. She's probably like still level like zero. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but it gives you like, two cantrips, so it's just like, it's pretty much either like Druid Craft, maybe Thorn Whip. Of all things, just fucking Thorn Whip. Maybe yeah. Primal Savagery. I don't know. One of those two. Yeah, Not something right. terribly, but it's just that. Um, is that uh, if you can, of course, warn any of the town's guard about encroaching storms if they're particularly powerful. Of course, yes. Especially since those factors seem to align themselves with that. It might be some cult for Talos, considering he very destructive in nature. And kind of deals with tempests and shit. So possibly. Um, hmm. What else do we have? Uh, see, there's a small library, but that's more like medicine books and animal behavior than magical artifacts and any kind of knowledge we could get from that. <sighs> I think that's about it. Um, unless anyone else wants to get anything during the day. Maybe talk to Grove Warden. Anyone? I will see you. S- I will see you one day, once more, brother. She takes her hand out to shake. <laughs> I'll see you soon, bud. You kind of gives it a gives it a shake back. It's not like the full on handshake. It's the fucking forearm grip shit, and then. Mm, all right. Um, what next? Yeah, coming. I don't. Um, judging by the amount of time we've taken, probably want to cut through the area rather than. Um, yeah, probably want to okay. cut through the forest rather than taking the particular route on the roads. Um, All right. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. So, and let me pull up a map. A uh, a map, I should say. This is gonna lag my computer because I'm already in. Uh... That's not me. Oh, guess what, guys? What? Chicken butt. All right. I'm gonna fucking die. All right. Varen said, "I." I'm yeah. Gonna... Oh, he's gone. He's, gone. he's dead. I'm gonna fucking die. Right. Sitting on some player. No demon announcements. That's where the map is. Bro, I lost the map. Let me, let me uh, go to DM announcements. All right, so we download it all over again. We're from the hell would always want me to download it. Like, God damn it! How dare you? Uh, I can't even search for it. Oh, there we go. All right, let me open this up. <laughs> Vertel. The old map, isn't this? Yep, it's the old map. Nope. <laughs> hey. Do you have the, uh... Just send a screenshot of the uh, map in the chat if you find it. Cuz I cannot find it in my downloads. That is fair. Actually, let me. Be on 20 extension, probably further up. Verum thunk. Okay. That, All right. So might, might want to get in the way. Um, found it. And let me pull this up in the stream. There we go. Hey. So 
Uh, if you guys want to look at the stream, you can for the map. Uh, but let me let's let's check this out here. Uh, the main route uh, from New Tagro all the way to Naito. And okay, is there anything anyone else wants to do during this time? Kel? Ocean? No. Harzo? No. Hey, really. So uh, I'm navigating again. Okay. So you guys don't want to do the crowbar? Uh, Drop is coming with. Uh, Fucking pop a barber open, he turns into a sextant. Alright, perfect navigation tool, let's go. Uh, nah. Fucking... Probably have the direwolf running the perception checks, because I think it actually has the highest wisdom here, aside from me. Since it's an advantage when it comes to hearing or smell. Yo, does anybody mind if I just rotate? Um, I don't... I don't know what that means. Banana? Rotate? Rotate. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let's see. Can somebody put the link to the Twitch in like DM announcements or something? Sure. Because oh. I can't find it. Yeah. What's your wisdom? Right. Thanks. Like 14. Okay. And do you have uh, proficiency in perception checks? Let me check. Please load. I'm going on to skills. I'm going on to... I have a plus five to perception checks. You have a plus five? Okay, you have more than... Um... Yeah, you have more than... Fucking oh, the stream is way the wolf behind. Thing. Yo. The power of proficiency bonuses. Pretty much. Oh, hmm. right. In that case, you got like one more than the wolf, so that's gonna be good when it comes to perception. Also, you'll be perception. Uh, I guess if we enter something's territory, like, oh, there's a pack of I'm fucking bear like... phones that smells like shit around, around here, out. we'll know, but aside from that, we'll be fine. I'm just like looking out of either the front of the back or the of the wagon, just like mm -hmm. holding this thousand owlbear stare. Plushie, just like holding this owl bear plushie because made of the genuine article. Anyway, some um. um yeah okay. Let me pull out in this map that does not want to load fast. So, while that happens, um, what is our marching order? What is our plan? Who is navigating? Who is doing everything else? Go ahead. I think um, let's see. Checks. Yeah, I'm navigating. All right. And I either, I guess, quote unquote, Verum would be doing. The most land vehicle checks, yeah. or maybe kill now. Depends right. if you if we need to have someone do the roll. What is your proficiency at level five? Um, it is plus three. Plus three. All right, thanks. Okay. Next, uh, who's ocean? Ocean's navigating. Who's doing perception checks? I am. Yep. You are. Right. I you believe. Are. Okay. And then who is... Is there anything else left? Is there anyone else doing something during this? Uh, uh, no. I don't believe so. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Robert may be casting Identify on the book, but I don't think that's necessary. You basically know that it's some kind of fucked up book. <laughs> identify. It's not really going to tell us much aside from it's a fucked up book. Alright. Alright. Uh 
Hey, yeah, this, Kel, this can I is not loaded. read that book again? Sure. Just going to hand it over. I'm just kind of looking at it. All of the words, none of them register. They're just like when you read and none of the words load in your brain. Right. But I'm just looking at the funny pictures. Yes, yeah, the pictures of human mutilation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know how it'd be. You know how it'd be. It'd be like that. Let me make some funny pictures. Yeah. Uh, very gruesome illustrations. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fun fact I could turn into a warhorse and make this go marginally faster. You could. <laughs> For like two hours. That's funny. Four hours total, I think, right? Um, it is half my druid level. And it's really uh, the uh, ring adds to it innately, but I don't know. I don't think that, that uh, moon druids can last longer in their wild shapes unless it has. No, I mean, I mean, you can, you can do uh, multiple wild shapes consecutively. Oh, yeah, yeah, in total, then, yeah. Mm, I cannot. Okay. Um, let me. Here's what I'll do. I will pull it up on my phone while we travel. <clears throat> so I honestly cannot find it. Because it's, it's, it's not loading on my side, so... Let's go in here. So, as the <laughs> party uh, continues onwards into the forest towards Naito and their next uh, quest, which is to solve some political issues within Naito and the specifically the border of between Haslau um, and its bordering countries. Uh, and open. So, uh, Arzor just kind of gets out of, just kind of walks next to the uh, vehicle, uh, kind of making uh, checks. What is you the marching pace? What is the pace? Sorry. What the is the pace? normal pace, slow pace, fast pace, fast pace, and get. Uh, disadvantage on was perception checks, or sorry, minus five on perception checks. Uh, mm -hmm. A slow, you get advantage mm. on stealth. Normal, you don't have any advantages or disadvantages. Um, I'd say probably normal, normal pace because we don't want want to get lost. But if could we still go at quote unquote normal pace as I am also using a long strider, or is that not possible? Uh, yeah, you can do that, I guess. I'll let you do it. It's an, it's a different thing, so yeah. Now I can finally take a picture of this. All right. So the first, let me uh, let me highlight some things. Because, uh, mm -hmm. Save. All right, done. I'll send you uh, the screenshot is in general, and I'll open up up, up on stream as well. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just dispel magic for now. Don't need to worry about breathing underwater. So. There is no direct path across the river to Garanch. Uh, so Garanch to uh, Nido is the only full path. But if you want to go from New Togrel all the way to Nido. So let's look here. So we have... So getting to Githyari took around uh, four days, correct? 
getting to know your mm. point around six days. Okay, six days. Okay. I had normal days. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Alright. It's not bad. Yeah. Okay, let's play some travel music. You got anything, Ocean? Okay. Uh, minor, we need to draw. Sorry, what? You got any travel music? Oh, um, travel music? Oh, sure. Okay, one second. Let me. Uh... Let's go. With, let's just go with fucking. Arzor, you got shit to say? Kel, you got shit to say? Anyone got any ideas for now? As we're just randomly. As we're just vibing, currently. Conversations. Yeah, any no, questions? I don't, and if I was, then I wouldn't. That is fair. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> The new dawn yeah, no, as the don't players anything. slowly make their way towards the political uh, destruction of a town named Naito. So. <laughs> Alright, well, I suppose it could be worse. Um, hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fundamentally, this could be a lot worse than it's going. I suppose. Arzor, go ahead and make your Hopefully. perception check. For the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Arzor, you got these! 21. Haha, <laughs> I rolled the funny number. What is it? 21. 21. <laughs> Alright. Jeez. Plus eight. Damn. All right. Arzor, um, you uh, are now super perspect uh, per uh, perceptive of your surroundings as you're like walking next to the cart, kind of making sure everything's uh, kind of look into the woods, uh, staring around. Nothing seems to be jumping to you this time. Um, as you slowly make your way northward ocean you can have the map in your hands you're kind of looking around making sure uh you guys aren't getting lost through the uh through the forest trails you kind of uh call out any sort of roots uh you know what kel we're gonna have you do the uh do the cart so just make a straight d20 okay That would be a net 20. Ooh, all right. Easily enough, Kel, uh, almost naturally grab the, uh, grab the reins and just kind of easily bring, make, making the horses go wherever you want. Um, all right. As you continue forward, uh, Uh, as you continue forward, the... Ooh, music. Okay, clear up. Alright. I didn't have much time to pick this up. Oh, fuck. Let me raise the volume on this. Just a little. Okay, this is good. Crunching leaves. The trees are slowly, yeah, so the, the trees are slowly dropping their leaves. Most of them are in the colors of orange, sometimes yellow. All these leaves on the ground. I remember. Every so often, you get I remember, and just I remember when I was little. 
when I was little, mm-hmm. there there used to be leaves all over the place, and I would rake mm-hmm. them. And me and my mom and my brother and sister, we would jump into the mm-hmm. leaf piles. That's fair. Mama never really loved me because we live in the forest and there was usually probably going to be a snake or something. I was hang- every time there was a snake, I would just hang out with it and we would be friends. It was nice. That's nice. I like snakes. Mm-hmm. They're friends. Yeah, me too. I'm quite nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, I made friends with the families of, with a family of bears one time. Cool. They were nice. So they did not react nice. to that when she saw me bring one home, but I mean, hey, you know. If, maybe. One time, I saw a frog, and we chilled. Hmm. You gaze upon this beautiful landscape of orange and yellow, red, slowly flowing, as you continue onward. (laughs) The gaze slowly grows older. Well, actually, you can't help yourself but smile as you realize you're about to go beyond the borders of Haslau, beyond... I mean, this is almost even even more exciting than traversing the Feywilds, traversing these new lands, these new countries, new continents. Okay. Hey, Ocean. Do you think that? Do you think that leaf winter looks different in other places? Mm, probably. The kind of plants in areas are always different than where they are other places. So, the leaves are naturally different. He's, he, he's kind of, he kind of says it's not really looking up as he's taking a pair of, like, the deer skull and, like, the antlers and everything. He kind of, like, he's shaping it in a weird way. Taking strings plucked of his hair and just twisting them, tying them together, just a few things. Hey, Ocean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you yeah. remember the owl bear? Do you think mm-hmm. anyone remembers the owl bear? Of course, I remember the owl bear. No, I haven't. Damn near died at the thing, but hey. Uh... Yeah. I. I, mm-hmm. I am. Uh... I'm sorry. What? I don't know. I just... I don't know, there's a lot of things that I wish. The kid's alive, you know. The owl break up. It's fine, actually. I don't know if that gives you any peace. I tell you something that might be kind of disturbing. Mm, Sure, go ahead. I wish that instead of us killing it, it killed me. Hmm. That's an interesting thought. I kind of get it. Though I'll also say... To do this. I never wanted to kill anybody. Mm-hmm. That's fair. I don't think most people really want to, and if they do, they're the best, you know? I wish that nobody ever had to feel... I wish that nobody ever had to see anybody else get killed. Maybe it's just me and how I've grown. But in all honesty, I ain't so sure that's necessarily the best thing. 
maybe it's just me because I was raised hunting animals and skinning them. And you get enough sympathy for them that you're like, they're not bad people. And I hang out with animals. I fucking love them. They're great. I adore them. But I'm thinking of the day I know that if the option is star or a deer, then I have the right to hunt deer because I have a right to live, otherwise I wouldn't have been born in the first place. Mm-hmm. If it's me or it, I have the choice to try pick me as that choice. So I guess to me it's less of seeing, or I guess it's less of killing people innately being this terrible, horrible thing, and more of it's me or them. I'd rather not be either of us, but if it has to be, I'm gonna pick me. So I kind of get it, and at the same time, I... Of course. I suppose I'm more used to it. I would pick you too. I don't know if I would pick me, Mm -hmm. though. Mm. Have you considered not worrying about picking yourself? Because you still have a lot of people out there, right? So, focus on picking them and making sure they know how to lose you. Okay? Okay. As you slowly converse and traverse, the day slowly shifts tonight. Cal, you're still holding the reins tight, continuing on to the forest as you feel spot chops in. And you notice in the this entire array of colors is now above you, just kind of floating in the air, spinning around each other. Um, uh, Arzor, can you make a perception check? Yeah, one quick sec. Let me just open up that tab. Um, oh, where was it again? Okay, right. Right here. I gotta leave in like 20 minutes, by the way. Alright. Just a heads up. Uh, yep. um, it's, it's okay. So, you kind of oof. walk underneath this party of the lights kind of floating above you, magically suspended, spinning. What did you get on perception? I don't oh, see. Sure. Perception? I don't see perception. much. I just rolled a seven. A seven, yeah. You don't notice anything uh, between the leaves uh, and all these colors. You don't make up anything. You're kind of distracting. The lights spin around you, continue forward, uh, slowly passing by. Uh, playing up maybe even a mile of the forest as it approaches the Real quick, I'm gonna grab my other headphone as well. That way I can hear better. Just one second. Alright. Hey. Kelly, you wanna make a perception check? Uh, sure. Let me just. That is an 18. Alright. Notice these tiny reptilian creatures uh, within the leaves spinning around. Uh, most of them are yellow in color, blending in with the blending in within the leaves uh, that have fallen over this leaf winter. You can hardly see them even with the 18. Mm. Uh, Listen takes a look at them, kind of. Mm. They kind of get scared. Doesn't and they, they, and they just kind of. Oh, Ocean just kind of. He doesn't look directly at them. He kind of looks off to the side and makes sure he doesn't make eye contact. Okay. Kind of raises a hand. 
it gently and then just kind of goes back to trying to strum this makeshift liar that he's trying to make. All right. Um, so that so. Do you know anything about fairy dragons, Ocean? Um, I do. All right. Actually, I know they primarily exist in the Feywild, which is of a little bit concern, and that they tend to seek out non-humans to bond with, as opposed to suits so dragons. The specific, uh, the specific uh, ritual almost happens during this time of year, um, where a bunch of fairy dragons kind of collect together with a forests and create these marvelous, spectacular light arrays. Um, usually it's a coming of age around, uh, specifically, you know that different ages represent different colors of, uh, different colors of They're so dragon. pretty. And this specific one, uh, these are all pretty much yellow. So you see some large ones, mostly yellow. Hmm. So you, it's probably a coming of age almost. Mm -hmm. well, the awesome. of light slowly fade behind you as you get farther and farther. Oh, it gets pretty dark now. Uh, your navigating skills uh, were. Uh, you, you assume they are pretty good. Um, Real quick, give me one second as I'm, I'm going to reset my headphones. Alright. Real quick. Arzo, you're... <sighs> Arzo, so your perception checks don't spot anything other than those specific, uh, specific lights. Uh, Kel, you notice the horse is slowly kind of tired, so you just kind of slow them down. And you take a quick stop. If you guys want to look uh, for a clearing, if you guys want to start camping. Mm, yeah. Motion's going to make a quick and small cast of Druidcraft to see if it's going to rain. For like, just okay. forecast for the next 24 hours, real quick. Right. And then he's going to. Notice like the claws going down your thumbs as you put your hands out towards the sky. Hmm. Not bad. Um, gonna be foggy. Hmm. Setting up tents alone would be the best idea, and the tavern would be safe. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, fuck it. Um, y'all wanna try to find a big enough place to sleep in the tavern, or if we can? Or would you like to try to set up a camp? Fog's gonna roll in, so we're probably gonna wanna set up tents with, like, branches and stuff. That help us blend did in. Did I... Well. Did I ever buy a bedroll? You have a bedroll. Look, you didn't, didn't, do you not have an adventuring kit? Or do you have, like, a thieves kit or whatever? Look in your inventory. Because I'm pretty sure we all have one. If not, then it's pretty much just you. I don't see it. Oh, fuck. Well, Alright. Hm. Fair. Um, Ocean's used to sleeping in trees. So, like, fuck it, dude. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm used to just getting up there and just sleeping in trees. It's pretty safe for me. If you want, you can use my bedroll. It's okay. Okay. Um, really? You don't have to bother? It's not a bother for me. I kind of prefer it. It's comforting, in a way, you know? He says this as he's just kind of absentmindedly. Hmm. But yeah, do we want to, like, go for the tavern, or do we want to stay outside? I'm fine with either, by this point. Cal? Hmm. Okay. I'm do fine with either as well. Hmm. Arzo, you want to see the stars? Or you want to be in the tavern? I want owl bear plushie on the head. Um. Hmm. 
If you want, Kelly, you can have you can call some of the people from the tavern. That way they could hang out as we set up camp. I'd like to see the stars. It's been a long time since I felt confident enough to do so. Alright. I think I'll go hang out in the tavern, see if we can uh, do something about the spells, and I'll leave you two to stargaze. So, you throw out the tavern, you uh, summon the command room, you kind of find like a nice clearing, big enough clearing to actually come to suddenly ravens kind of flock off. It's uh, flying off into the uh, sky as it summons. Um, the door opens. What do you want? So you enter. A lot of people are just kind of sitting around, kind of <laughs> drinking, um, pale, eating some food. Who oh, kills you? The rogue is still in the corner, kind of pouting. <laughs> Hey, uh, he got Oakley's something for you to look to over. He, he he looks over at you. Uh, let me see it. Uh, he takes the book, right. flips through it. He's like, he's like, what the heck? Like, he's probably like level one, probably. <laughs> mm-hmm. Maybe even less. Um, he's like staring at this book. It's disgusting to him. Uh, so mm. he's gonna look at that. What else are you doing? Um, Ocean's actually going to walk over to the road, kind of kneel down to him. Um, would you mind going with us to gather some firewood? And so, we're heading out to lift, take a look at the stars. If you want to come, you're free to come. Make a persuasion check, please. Yeah, sure. He's pretty angry. And Angie. That's. And Let's look at the roll. That is a 18. 18, alright. Um, he, he, he kind of stands up, kind of pats himself on. Fine, let's go. Okay. He no, I shouldn't kind of. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Well, she just kind of takes a big stress and like, <sighs> it's been a very long time since I've not felt concerned being in the woods at night, so this is going to be a nice change. Yeah, yeah, she noticed some <clears throat> here, uh, nocturnal. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, the, um, what? Nocturnal deer. Oh. <laughs> As you're collecting proper, <laughs> go ahead and make a survival check, but, uh, yeah, so, as you make the survival check, he's gonna help you so you get advantage. Um, okay. <laughs> the glow of the tower mm. illuminates its surroundings, the windows, as they can see yellow light and the fogs mm. and from the distances. And uh, as you assume, the farther north you go towards the mountains, the more above you get. Okay, it's a 13 for the first roll, and a 17 for the second. Alright. Uh, you collect a fair amount of uh, very pristine firewood. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. He kind of keeps looking around, collects some basic sticks and stuff. Just a few rocks. Alright. Kind of sets up like a basic campfire, makes sure he doesn't particularly like take the time to sweep the leaves himself. He just kinda of, with a whoosh of his hand and druid craft just kinda of makes a puff of wind to blow them away in either direction. Over there, over there, right. Um I think that should be fine. Just a quick circle with rocks, sets up a basis for the firewood. Kind of snaps his fingers, looks at his hand. The, the flame All right. jumps towards it, emanating this bright, warm light across the leaves. That's bad. Um, can I pass and summon my wildfire spirit so it doesn't explode? Sure. Uh, non lethal damage. Let's get this. Alright, 
he just he kind of puts his hands together and hmm. Hmm. yeah he just kind of puts his hands together and slowly slides them apart and the moment that they disconnect a small little or like a kind of a small the <laughs> flames and the wildfire spirit hops out it is currently the small fox actually Okay. Just made out of a bran bowl and burnt wood along with poor <laughs> body burnt wood and more flames making it actually look like a fox. There you go. It's just kind of dancing around in the fire and just hanging out around it passively. Yeah. Um, and it jumps over the flames <laughs> and absorbing some of it as it jumps over. Also, kind of helping. It's like a mutual relationship between the flames and the fox. The spirit <laughs> spins around. Mm-hmm. So, Ocean, are you going to sleep out here? The rogues can go inside. Mm-hmm. Where are you going you know? to... Um, after getting all the memories from, like, Due, due to due to the ocean shot, yeah, especially ocean. ours are you. Hmm? What? Oh, uh, nothing. Hmm? Just. What, what were you saying? Ours are you've seen ocean around when it gets to night, it starts to get a lot more twitchy and a lot less like relaxed. Typically, he has this sense of like. I'm not confident everything's gonna go well, but I'm sure I'll make it through type of shit. You know, that's the kind of energy he usually carries. But when it comes to nighttime, he starts to get a lot more twitchy and a lot more, like, concerned and on guard. This time, he's actually a lot more relaxed, just innately. He, as, he's as relieved as usual. And he just kind of quickly climbs up a tree, gets up to a branch, Sets himself about, keeps working on his makeshift lyre, the uh, made out of uh, antlers and twigs, okay. and a couple strands of hair, or just various things he's found. Okay. And just <laughs> eventually relaxes, twists the coat over, twists the um, bear cloak over to the other side, and just kind of passes out after leaving his uh, bedroll and stuff. Like, pretty much on the ground, either fire or sea, whoever wants to sleep in yeah. it, or Arzor does. I'm going to pass out on a pile of leaves. Cowl and the rest of them are kind of inside. The warm glow of the tavern. Um, mm-hmm. kind of, the wizard's kind of drinking his coffee. And he's kind of drinking his papers. These studies are very really advanced in a way. Uh, mm. So, can you cast any of them? I need to translate them to my own scripture, and I don't even think I'm able to do that since these are advanced, advanced spells. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps one That's of unfortunate. Uh, I'm not able to cast them. Although, whoever wrote hmm. them is sinister. It is simply the writing of them. As far as I learned in school, the, this writing is maniacal. So, do you think it's necromancy? Definitely. These mm. illustrations are instructions. I'm going to go pee real quick. I'm going to be part of this conversation. So, in the All right. These illustrations are almost instructions for the next person to have. Was was in a house that uh we liberated, I guess. It's creepy almost. Is there any specific information you want me to tell you about? No, just curious about the whole thing. I s- yeah. 
why it was there house. more than anything. Well, they're looking at house, so... Strange. Hold on. Well, gotta go, so... Alright, see you, Cal. Yep, see you. Alright, so, Cal decides to head to... Uh, head to... Uh, just sleep inside the I'm sorry, sleep inside the cabin. Walk to the bar door, sleep outside. Straight set and wakes up parts of the ocean. Hmm? Hi. I'm sure wake up. Here we go. Hi. Oh, he, he, he's gonna try to like jump up into the tree line to, like just to like try to shake the branch oceans on. What? Yeah, so Verum, Verum woke, I'm sorry, uh, Cal woke up, shrunk the tavern, is now like, the woke up Arzor, and now he's starting to like, jump up and hop and try to get the tree back because they're trying to sleep on, trying to like, wake him up. Okay, what's happening? Uh, it's, it's time to go, I think. I'm sorry, what? It's, it's time to go, I think. Uh. <clears throat> All right. Ocean kind of gives his neck a crack real quick. Kind of goes from a sleeping position with it with the cloak just over him as a blanket, just kind of flips it around real quick. Starts crouching, just leaps down in the branch. Okay. All right. He walks over to the horse and gives him a little pat on the side of the face. Don't cut. I'm proud of you. All right. <clears throat> uh, uh, let's see. Anything in particular, in particular need to keep in mind? Nothing really. Um, we're gonna keep going towards the mount. It's gonna get more foggy. Uh, kind of claps his hands twice, raises them up to the sky like a triangle, and then there's just a cast of druid craft. It's the weather for the next twenty-four hours, chief. Alright. And let me get, uh, Baron's gonna be getting the cut now. Yes. <laughs> as the, uh, as you all get prepared in your cart, you, uh, whatever things you had set up, you kind of pat up the fire. <laughs> Okay. And we're uh, gonna start going. So ours are make your perception check. Do, uh, yeah, sure. Well. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm also gonna actually mm. Alright. Eighteen plus five, that's twenty-three. Confirm. Alright, twenty-three. Natural one for Verum. Um, all right, I'll have <laughs> all Kel like Verum obviously seems to have a bit of an issue with the cards getting it started, so Kel's gonna try to help him here. Eighteen. All right. So twenty. So do I see anything? We'll find out. Uh, ocean. Check. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You take out your map and continue trailing the, uh, trailing carts, cars, or what's that, 23? Mm -hmm. You crunch against the leaves once more, continuing forward throughout the forest. Uh, Ocean, you make your pickup. Make 
a... Let's see, what kind of check should this be? Makeup... It's hard to hear what you're saying, dude. Here, yeah, I know. Good, out of bet. I'm, I'm still thinking. Uh, I was mumbling because I don't know. I'll, I'll make this a performance check. Make a performance check to uh, make the a performance check. Yes. Okay. And performance. That is a nine. 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 Um. It falls apart instantly when you try to play a string. And now you gotta rebuild it. Hmm. That's... Though I do also do have proficiency with my lyre, by the way. What? Or with lyres. So. You have proficiency in lyres? Proficiency with lyres. Okay. Um, yeah. Your proficiency I'll... modifier. So you... That's eight. So it's... Yeah. So ten. Yeah, yeah, my proficiency modifier. So that's a ten now. It's not bad, but it's not good either. Okay. Could use a little bit more doing. I could definitely use actually Ocean kinda hops off the card for a quick second, puts out his liar on the cart, runs over to one of the horses, takes his uh carving knife, and as they're walking, swat and flies with their tails, he just kinda excuse me, one second, kinda gives the horse a little rub on the butt, just you know, it'll be fine. Just kinda there we go. Here's like, yeah, like three hairs, four hairs. That's right, yeah. enough. Thank you. You can make a violin. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, let's well, use horse, uh, horse or so. We'll give you that much. Cut off a couple of the. Uh, yeah. Well, you're gonna try. It's gonna work better than his own hairs, at the very least. Yeah. Uh, very thick strands. All right. Uh, compared to humans. Uh, you tie it uh, mm -hmm. pretty well. Uh, on the a liar now. Hmm. Yeah. Goodbye, baby. Alright. Hmm. Hold on a second. I have food. So, like, mm, 20, 30 minute break as I eat? Yes, we will take a break now. Uh, for everyone on the stream. So let me do that. Uh, we'll end <laughs> with Arzor. You smell this rotting smell, almost? That's what we're gonna do. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna be back in around... 
Those was a
I'm no longer dead. Yo. Let's get, let's get ours in here. <laughs> Hello. Hey. So, uh, we start traversing the uh, now foggy. Uh, obviously, if there's fog, there's clouds. Um, so, it's pretty. It's cloudy and there's this little fog now emanating around you. As you continue walking through this, um, as you continue walking through 
this uh, this leafy um, tundra almost. You continue stepping, crunching across the leaves. The the uh, wind kind of catching into your faces, uh, creating this uh, frostbite on your nose. You continue. smell almost and through uh, this portion of the woods becomes denser and denser the woods kind of block the line of sight um, up until 23 you notice this huge whirling creature uh, kind of walking through the woods um, don't so with that you got 23 so it's not a hill giant but it's it's similar seems to have, um, it seems to have almost never bathed, it seems to have thick skin, uh, it's encrusted with this thick layer of dirt and grime beneath, uh, when you hear, you hear, you smell, sorry, you smell the, uh, the stink, the stink of the, of the skin of the flesh. Can I hide behind Ocean? Oh, should she hide behind you? You look to where she is looking at, you turn around, you notice this two-headed, uh, beast. Hmm. That's not good. It is not. Hmm. Ocean is really quick going to fucking... So, he's going to rely on... He's going to warn the wolf, first off. And the wolf has advantage on perception checks based in um, smell and sound. And Ocean immediately is. Does he know if the it has a thing like look in our direction at all? I'd like at all. You don't know. Um. Okay. Well. It, it, hmm. I feel like I would know if it would be walking towards us. So, on that assumption, he's going to cast cast without a trace now. And let's see. Yeah, we have an hour of our cart being completely silent. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're, 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 we're decent. Like, we're a little bit muffled. And only this if all else sounds fails, we want to hear there. Um, we could always try a distraction. Make a stealth check. Alright. Um... Plus so of us are just one of us. Uh, just I, uh, everyone who's here, I guess the dire wolf included, the card included, everything. Um. Okay. And this is just gonna be a group check. Uh, if a majority of you succeed, you succeed in total. Actually, oh yeah, I don't need to roll. I don't need to screenshot it because you can just see him. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, so yeah. that's ten plus ten. See. So that's twenty five now. The power. You can. Anyway. You can see right. I can see, yeah. Okay, so let's see. The dire wolf. What does he have in his pluses to stealth? Stealth is plus five, so that's higher than mine. So I'm going to just make a quick stealth roll. In place of his. There it is. His roll was, let's see, eight plus five, so that's like 13. So 23. Plus five. Alright, that's great. Right. Oh, sorry, the make a cart check. Uh, just a d20 plus 10, I guess. I'll just... Actually, yeah, I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll use stealth again, and we'll just... Oh, that's a nat 20 on the cart stealth! Nice. Okay! Arzor? Hmm? What did you get on stealth? Plus 10. 20. Plus... 26. So, 36. Yeah. Alright. Well, um, the cart slowly passes by without a single noise. Uh, Ocean, you are making your best to not make any noise.